as he speaks and as he talks, he will have the anointing on him, powerful, moving down to the depths of his soul, and let him teach us and show us, and you reveal through him what we need to know this day. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. <laughs> Praise God. How's everybody feeling today? Oh, I love worshiping, y'all. Woo! You call for worship. Oh, y'all know how we do it now. I've been here. When was the last time I came? Do you remember? Last time I was here. A couple months. Mm -hmm. About nine. Close to a year ago? Listen to that? Y'all know you gotta help me. I don't keep up with birthdays. Well, I didn't even know my birthday was last night. I didn't even remember. That remind me, amen. Something like that, right? Praise God. We had a good time then. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I came with a word this morning, not as a pastor. I'm not coming to you as a pastor today. Amen. You know we have church later on today. I'm not coming to you as an apostle because you have an apostle here. Amen. I come to you as an evangelist today. Is that all right? Because I got good news. Amen. Good news. Is that all right? So before we get started, oh, glory to God. We've got to work out some seating arrangements in here. Glory to God. Already. It's already starting. Praise God. Everybody say thank you, Jesus. Do well, I have anybody in here that really loves Jesus? Yeah. Hey. See, everybody didn't raise a hand up there. See, that's what I'm saying. You gotta look at that real close. Because guess what? The angels are recording you. You may not think you're being recorded. The angels are watching you constantly. Everybody say constantly. Constantly. Whatever you do. Amen. You say, oh, I hope nobody sees me behind this closed door. But guess what? You got 20 angels sitting there watching the same guy. So I'm telling you, everything we do is taking the counter for us. Let me ask that question again. How many of y'all in here really love Jesus? I got a better response that time. Still know everybody raised their hand up, but it's all right. We're going to work with it today, man. Praise God. Is it all right if I put my Bible on here? Is it okay? Yeah. This, this uh, screen? Let me move that. Okay. No, you don't, have you another podium or something? You don't have to move it. Put my Bible on there? Or take please, please don't move it. Please don't move it. Please don't move it. Please don't move it. Is it okay? It's I won't push no. It's no. fine. It's fine. Okay. What I won't push no, put no buttons on here that's going to make it blow up and then praise the Lord, you know. I'm not technologically savvy, amen. I just got this uh, iPad, and I'm praying y'all help me with it. Glory to God. So, you see, I still take notes. Glory to God on my iPad. Amen. Oh, hello. <laughs> As I say, my name is Pastor Joe Washington. God bless everybody. Greetings to you in our name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeshua, Yeshua, amen. Amen. God bless each of you. Thank you for being here this morning to worship him. And y'all not here today to see me, amen. You really didn't even know I was coming, did you? <laughs> amen. Who would you come to see today? Jesus. Mm, you came to see Jesus today, amen? amen? So if you came to see Jesus, then your response to him would be different, wouldn't it? If you saw Jesus manifest before you, it would be different, wouldn't it? Yeah. He's manifested himself a couple times in my life, and I'm telling you, you are not the same when you meet him for the first time, amen? amen? He messes up everything that you do. You think you have an agenda, you think you have things in place, he wrecks all that, amen? Because he is God, and beside him there is no other, Amen? And I, like I said last time I was here, we talked about why it was so important because we are believers. Jesus separates us from everybody else. When you say Jesus Christ is Lord, that separates you from everybody in the United States, the world, the whole, everywhere. Because Jesus is our Lord. Even angels can't even say that. You see the privilege you have? Amen. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, amen? Praise God. I also want to give honor, thanks to the man and woman of this house. Amen. Apostle Stan, Prophet Leslie. They're my dear friends, my loved ones. I love them to death. We've been in the trenches many times before. And I just want to bless them because they're the, they the shepherds of this house. So give them a hand clap, amen? amen. If you love them, give them a hand clap. If you don't love them, say, we're going to work on that love, amen? The Lord commanded us even to love our enemies, amen? amen. That was a command, amen? Right. Well, see, people don't know that's a command. I got to love my enemies? I can't stand them. I want to throw some at them, shoot them. That's a command, amen? <laughs> So I don't know about you, but I want to do it the right way. What's the right way? Doing it his way. Yeah. There's a difference. There's a way that seems the right to a man, but the end thereof is what? Destruction. Somebody said destruction, amen? Because man thinks he knows the way to go. He thinks he knows everything. When you get to that place where you think you know everything, Ball game. warning. Yeah. Trouble is coming already. You're going to fall flat on your pride. Amen. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Amen. So we're going to interact today, those who know me, amen. <laughs> we're going to interact in this word today because I don't believe in coming to church and being an observer, amen. amen. I mean, when I was back there in the back seat, I felt the presence of the Lord back there worshiping, amen. So I know he's in the place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe in actively participating. If you walk into the temple of Solomon, 
You would walk in and just sit down and say, oh, man, this place is nice. Look at it. They got gold over there in the seats over there. Look at that. They dancing. Praise the Lord. That's nice. I wonder if they're going to serve some to eat. <laughs> you would not do that, amen? The word of God says that even the queen of Ethiopia, she came. Queen of Ethiopia, amen? She walked into the place. When she walked into the place, a queen, a royal person that's used to royalty, passed out. Do you hear me? That's how strong the glory of God was in that place. And guess what? There is no limitation on you experiencing that right now. The only thing that limits you from stepping into that glory is yourself, your mindset. So I'm going to challenge and charge you today to get out of the box. I came in here today and I said, Lord, what word do you want to share with me? What, what are you going to give me to flow? Because all I am is a pipeline. I just picture me as a pipe. And the glory of the Lord just flowing through me. I don't keep none for myself. Because I ain't getting in trouble for none of y'all. Amen? Amen? I know better. Amen? I'm going to flow. Amen? And so if the glory of the Lord shows up, get out of your box. How long have you been sitting on your hands and not lifting them up? When you leave from here, what do you do? Go back into your stupor? Go back into your, oh, you know, business as usual. You know, next Sunday, we'll see who they bring the little guest speaker. I hope I have some money to give them next time. Glory to God. You're missing it. You're missing the point. You're missing why Jesus died on the cross for us. You're missing for everything that they paid. Our Father said, his only begotten son. And you tell me, if you sent your, cat, your child to go die for somebody else, would that be important? That's a high priority, amen? Act like it, amen? I don't know who am I speaking to. The Lord got a belt out today. Because I'm telling you, I ain't getting whooped for nobody. Glory to God, he got a belt out today. And sometimes that's good. We need that, amen? Don't fathers chasten us? Well, my father chastened me. I only got, well, two from whoopers I remember. <laughs> he chastened me a lot, amen? And I'm thankful for that because maybe the man I am today. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for sending me a father. Amen? And so I learned early the importance of a father in your life. Does anybody believe in mentors here? Having mentors? Mentors? Amen. What is a mentor? Somebody help me. What is a mentor? Somebody think it's menthol or mints or something. They don't get an idea what we're talking about. What is a mentor? Come on. Example. That's good. I like that example. Anybody's help? A teacher. A teacher. I like that. A teacher. Now. There is differences between a teacher and a mentor. There is big differences, but I like where you're going. Mentor Amen. Shows by example. example. Yeah. Come on. Huh? Role model. Role model. I like that too. A guy. Who said guy? You said guy. I thought you said it. I'm working with you. I heard it over here. Amen. I want to express to you the importance of a mentor, and that is a mentor is in your life. He knows your mess. He knows your stuff. He knows your limitations. In your strengths, amen? amen. A teacher, she, they may see you a short while and then you're gone. But they teach and they give what they need to give and they're out of that, amen? amen? That's different, amen? A mentor is different. They're all in your stuff, amen? Yeah. And that's the way our father is. He is all in your stuff because you are important to him, amen? amen. I'm going to show you that today, amen? I got a lot to cover, glory to God. Y'all help. Oh, I got a lot to cover today, amen? So y'all help me with this. Because i got to go through this. i got to get through this. Amen. Get through this. And I'm going to need you to help me read some of these scriptures. Is that all right? Yeah. we got about, you know, 50 scriptures. Praise God. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Glory to God. So, real quick. Somebody grab Philippians 2, verse 7. Philippians 2, verse 7. We'll start by reading that. I want to talk to you today also. I'm just starting out here because we're getting going. Holiness. Holy. i got an amen on that amen. Somebody, yeah. Amen. I feel you on that, sister. Holiness is not talked about much anymore. Holiness, amen. Praise God. <laughs> Holiness is a very important situation with the Lord right now. He's looking for those who look like him. And because they're in their own way, doing their own thing, trying to get by, I think they're getting away with some things, the Lord doesn't recognize them. So when he shows up, he just passes by. And one thing about it is you don't want the one to pass you by. While on others that are calling, do not pass me. We've seen it many times, amen. But I'm saying to you, don't let Jesus pass you by. Why? Because he don't recognize you. He don't see you. Amen. Anybody got Philippians together? Yeah. You got it. Raise your hand up, 
Okay, come on, come on, stand up. Two seven and stop at verse eleven. Okay, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant yes. and was made in the likeness of men. Yes. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Mm. Wherefore God hath also hath highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, mm. that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of Woo. things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. The glory of God the Father. Glory God. Thank you. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. So y'all see the importance of our Yeshua, amen? amen? You see the importance of our Jesus, amen? amen. He was given the name of every name. That's a fact. He put his name on you. Amen. Really? So why am I fighting all these demons for? Yeah. Why are they whooping me? Because I don't like it. How come I feel this depression sometimes? I don't feel like getting up in the morning. Anybody ever talk to anybody yet? Oh, once in a while. Once in a while? Amen. Glory to God. How come I don't reach the goals that I put in front of me and I said that I was going to do, but I don't reach it? Yet I bear the name of Yeshua on me. Amen? Amen. Now, I last read in Scripture that all things are possible to... See, you know the Scripture, amen? Why is there still limitation? Amen? Why is there still hindrance? Oh, you better hold about that flesh you're preaching now, brother. I'm let you preach in a minute. That flesh is nothing to mess around with, amen? Yeah. Crucifying that flesh is very important. Yeah. But I want to share with you today the importance of holiness because you need to be holy like him. Be like him. Follow after him. Separate yourself from the world because he has set up certain blessings, certain things that you are able to do when you are in his spirit. Amen. Woo. If you don't walk in that level of holiness, what I'm telling you about, you're going to miss it. You know, some, some people in here today right now are supposed to be healed of certain things right now, but they're not because they missed it. Some of you have calls in your life. I sat in the back and watched the call and flow through you. I'm like, man, listen, glory to God. I got praise the Lord, prophet son, glory to God. I'm listening to you, praise God. But you've got to press forward into his holiness. So he can reveal to you who you are in him. You see, if you know who you are in Christ, no devil in hell can tell you who you are. They can't steal away your identity. He's constantly taking your identity away from you. Because he wants you to shut up and sit down. Don't say that. Mm -hmm. Shut up and sit down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk a little bit strong on this. Somebody get for me Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Ephesians chapter 1, 4 and 5. Now, I'm going around the place. Now, as I speak these things, the Holy Spirit starts to flow here because there's a flow that's about to occur. An impartation is going to take place. And as the impartation takes place, as it hits your spirit, I want you to stand up and give God reverence. Amen. I told you this is active, amen? Praise God. Stand up and give him reverence, amen? I ain't saying, say, say oh, Pastor Joe, oh, you already praise the Lord, don't have an offering under that. Keep that for yourself. I told you I ain't trying to get in trouble, amen? Give him reverence, praise God. Amen. So as the spirit flows, as through me as a conduit, as it hits your spirit, stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord God. Because that's what marvels the angels. The angels sit there and watch you and they say, man, look at that. Man, we are, we are way stronger than them. We're smarter than them. We do more things. We know more. We know who we are. But look at the awesome things they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yet they still bless his name. Amen. And it makes them, like I tell you, it really makes them kind of ashamed in some ways and also jealous. The angels, amen, because they want to be in the position we're in. I kid you not. So you got it? You ready? Yeah. Who got it? Come on, I've been waiting for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go stand up. This is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. So strong, jumping. Ah, <laughs> because the Lord is trying to talk to you this morning. Sometimes when He talks to you, it's in a still, quiet voice. Sometimes He doesn't get your attention, so He has to shake you up. Amen. 
was talking to you this morning. Over years and listen. Somebody grab for me Hebrews 12, 14. Hebrews 12, 14. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. We're going to talk a little bit more about this Kadosh. This set apartness, this sacredness. You are sacred to him. You are set apart. You are designed to be with him. You are part of him. He wants you to be with him. Amen? Amen. But your flesh can't stand his glory. Your flesh has a hard time standing up in the presence of God. That's why I charge you to stand up, amen. Who has who has the scripture? You ready? Come on. You got the scripture. Hebrews. Hebrews. Yeah, amen. Hebrews 12, 14. Go ahead. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Wait a minute. You tell me that I won't see the Lord without his holiness? Hold up. Now, how many of y'all going to heaven in here? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Y'all get the back, watch this, watch this. Get this little camera. How many of y'all going to heaven in here? Raise your hand up. Everybody raise your hand up, baby. You see that? Did y'all see that? Did you see it in the back? Everybody raise your hand up, baby. Yeah? You would just say yes or no. Y'all say no. <laughs> I'm going to ask this question again. How many of y'all going to heaven? It's not a trick question. I ain't trying to trick you or nothing. Lord, no. I mean, you're going or you're not. Amen. Well, Pastor Joe, I just don't know because I, I did some things last night, you know. <laughs> that make you in trouble today. Amen. Amen. But there's an importance when she just read there because without holiness, no man shall see God. What does that mean? Being like him. Amen. See, he recognizes his own. Amen. He sees you and says, oh, I see myself. He's attracted right to you. Attracted right to you. Amen. Amen. But see, that's a, that's a cliche that people mess around when they say, oh, they're going to the holy roll again. We want to fool with them because all they're going to talk about is this Jesus thing. We can't have no that a lie from the trick of uh, Satan? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that. Yeah. As if holy folks can't have fun. Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to see some part of heaven. Boy, they jamming for real, y'all. <laughs> oh, we messing around. Do you hear me? We playing. Oh, they on a whole other level, do you hear me? Yeah. I mean, you see them dancing on them videos and all this other stuff, like, you know, country music and all this other stuff, like they got it going on. They ain't got nothing on heaven, do you hear me? Right. Right. We can experience that today on earth. There was a church in Fort Worth. I'm not going to give a name, but it's a church in Fort Worth where they're worshiping him so intensely. He is recognizing it so strongly that they're seeing gold dust manifest in the air and drop down on them. They're seeing jewels hit the floor as they worship him. Because when you worship the Lord and bring in his glory, nothing is the same. Amen? Amen. Did you like to experience that? What's the difference between them and us? Nothing. We serve the same Lord. Same faith, same Jesus. What was I saying? All I'm saying is that don't sit on your butt. Actively worship him. Amen? Amen. Because I'll tell you what, as much as I've been exposed to and many spiritual fathers of that, as I've had and hung out with, I have come to find out how much I don't know. <laughs> how much I need Jesus. Amen? Amen? I realize my dependency upon him greater. But that holiness is very crucial because that makes you unique, different. Holiness is one of the few things, actually, the main thing that Satan cannot copy. Amen. Amen. You weren't that. Because if Satan could copy holiness, then he could be what? Close to God. Amen? Yeah. That's why he has a hard time because he shared his holiness with you. You are a part of him now. And when you worship him and you step into the arena of the spirit, Satan can't stand that. So he does everything he can to keep you from praying, getting into the word of God, coming to church. How many of y'all had a hard time coming to church this morning? Anybody? Oh, no. Lord, Lord, Lord. So you hit the clock. You hit the clock this morning. You say, yeah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you see, you can laugh. See, laugh. <laughs> one thing I want you to do is just be honest with yourself, too. Be honest, because we're still in this flesh. Amen. But one thing I can share with you is that you can overcome all things through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So it's okay. If you feel a child sometimes, I don't feel like listening to these jokes today, but it get on my last nerve. <laughs> Acknowledge it. Right. Deal with it. And go on. Right. Amen? Amen. We just read it. We just sang a song that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Right. Right. Some of you ain't got no joy in your face now. I'm looking at you already. I've been reading you from the back of the room. That joy is missing. Amen. 
It's not, it's not something that you know you just put on your chest and say, I have joy. It has to come out of you, amen? If I'm a stranger and I don't feel your joy, then I wonder what God you serve. Why don't that boy God? Let me move on. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go to Acts. Now, now, I need to read this pretty quickly. Acts 4, chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. And then I need a good reader to read to me Psalms 118. So we got those two scriptures operating at the same time here, okay? So Acts chapter 4, 11 and 12. And one thing as a pastor that I get on my sheep about, that the Lord has charged me stewardship over, is that you bring your word with you all the time, especially to the house of God. Amen? You need one? Do you have another Bible? Anybody have another Bible? You need this word because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You need to get it in your spirit so that when you go out there, you don't get what? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. You got you got the first scripture. Just twelve, right? Yeah, eleven, twelve. All right, and then whoa, whoa, who has who has Psalms one eighteen? Amen. Come on, you got it. Praise God. All right, you go first, sir. Go ahead, stand up. You got it. Yeah. Okay, come on. Verse eleven. This is the stone which had, was set as not of your builder, which it becomes the head of the corner. Yes. Twelve. Neither is there salvation in other, any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. Amen. Did you know what you just said? That was a powerful statement you just said there, dear friend. You just told me the only way we can be saved. That Jesus is the chief cornerstone. We wouldn't be here today if the chief cornerstone wasn't laid in this building right here. We'd be sitting on this rubble right now, I'm telling you, because it came down on us, I'm telling you. Jesus is the reason why that we are even saved and even have an opportunity to get in there. Oh, if that don't hit your spirit, I'm trying to tell you something. There has to be a thankfulness in your spirit. Amen? But who is the Lord Christ? Who is the Psalm 118? You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. No, because I know it's long. <laughs> Amen. You're like, oh, it's long. <laughs> Read to the end. Verse 23 to the end. Yes. Hallelujah. This is the day which the Lord has made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Save now, I beseech thee. O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Save now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Stop. Hallelujah. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I just tell you, he named you. His name is on you. Amen. Double machine. Amen. Amen. Come on. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which has shewed us life. Bind the sacrifice with cords, mm. even unto the horns of the altar. Mm. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Yes. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy. Enjoy forever. Amen. 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 Shout break right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord God. I, I, that's a lot of meat right there, but I'm telling you, I'm just I'm really just being I'm, I'm in awe right now. I just read again, I just caught something else, Lord God. Understanding the tabernacle of the most high, understanding walking into the, the outer course to the holy place, to the holies of holies. There is a process that we go through. The flesh which always wants to do his own thing, has a very hard time getting through the outer court. That's where the praise and worship happens. That's where you said, I'm going to stand up and praise him even though I feel like I feel. Amen? Amen. The world doesn't catch that because when they feel a certain way, they stay in that. I don't feel like, you know, I'm going to cuss this dude out. I don't want to do this. I'm going to do it. But we say as the believer that if I press through this, if I crucify this flesh, if I walk to Jesus, through Jesus, no man can still be able to get to the Father. If I can walk through to Jesus and get into the inner court and being in the midst of his presence, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. 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 Praise God. And so that prophecy that was spoken in Psalms 118 matched what he just read. Because by the name of Jesus, we are saved. So, I want to share with you that something that's very important in my heart today that we're dealing with. I'm going to 
see if I can get one from my bottom. Is that what he's getting? Passover. Passover. It's nice and soft. Just take it with you, Joe. No. They have to come get me, Andrew. They have to come